Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I wasn't planning to make any video on LoRaWAN anymore, uh, but someone commented that can I apply the same flow graph uh, as in my last video? I was using USRP and to tend to transmit my data and receive it. Can I use it with HackRF? So here's the quick demo of that using HackRF. This is exactly the same flow graph that I have used previously but I have to disable the receiver part. Why? Because HackRF is a half duplex device. I can either transmit or receive. So for that purpose, I'll be transmitting it uh, a signal that is being generated by my GNU radio using HackRF and I'll be receiving it uh, using my RTL SDR dongle, which will be running SDR Angel. So all I have done, I haven't done anything fancy in this. I just simply re uh, replace this USRP block with Osmocom Sync block, which is actually depicting your hack RF. Everything is exactly the same. I have chosen the center frequency to be 868.1 megahertz. Uh, bandwidth, yes, 125 uh, kilohertz of bandwidth wasn't working in SDR Angel, so I have chosen this bandwidth to be 25 kilohertz because I cannot change the bandwidth in SDR Angel. I'll show you that in a little bit. So this is being controlled. This flow graph is controlling my HackRF. Uh, that is going to generate a message, which is going to be, please subscribe to my channel. And let's just quickly look at it. So now I have SDR Angel now. This is the screen of an SDR Angel. Let me just simply close this, close everything. I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a receiving device. I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to choose my RTL SDR. Once I have chosen this RTL SDR, the next step is let's change the frequency to 868 because this is the frequency of my reception. And this is the frequency that I'm transmitting my signal at. Once I have done that, uh, let's just simply go here to add channels. And the demodulator that I'll be using is actually going to be a chirp chat demodulator. This is this is what is used by Laura Van Chirp Chat, uh, and I'm going to use a demodulator, built-in demodulator, and try to demodulate the signal. Let's hit apply. Everything exactly the same. Let's leave it as is. Uh, I'm going to remove this from auto. I'm going to change this bandwidth to 25 kilohertz because that's the frequency. Because I, now this is I cannot go beyond that. The maximum I can go is about 31.25 kilohertz. So I've chosen this to be 25 kilohertz. That's the frequency. I'm going to choose this FFT to Blackman Harris. And I'm going to choose this to be 1K. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to maximize my gain. Since I'm using RTL SDR dongle, it is recommended to use negative 30. All right. And I'm going to here go to my GNU radio and I'm going to transmit this signal. So this is what I'm transmitting. I'm going to wait. And so this has already started transmitting. So this is indeed transmitting. So let's try to visualize this in SDR Angel using RTL SDR. So I'm going to hit play. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to wait now. Uh, I'm going to wait. So this is this. You can start seeing a little chirp here at this point. Uh, so let me change this to negative 30. Sorry, I think 30, 30 parts per million. And I have changed this. Okay, as you can clearly see here, your preamble that I have discussed previously in the flow graph is 8. Uh, my spreading core is about F. SF is about 7. So everything is exactly the same. I should be start receiving my signal. Let's include CRC. Let's include our header as well. So you can clearly start seeing here. I started receiving my message because it's coming in a form of a chirp and we have already visualized that previously using GQRX as well so we're gonna wait for this to populate 
So this is being transmitted by my HackRF, and this is SDR Angel is the one that is receiving this using my RTL SDR dongle. All right, here we go. So as you can see, this information that you're seeing, this is a header, and the text should be the file. Exactly the same thing like, please subscribe to my channel. The clear text should be, please subscribe to my channel. But as you can clearly see, I'm receiving some character. And this is to the, uh, not to due to the bandwidth, but actually due to the antenna and the software itself, the Chirp Chat demodulator that is there is probably not, uh, you know, compatible or something like that. But the idea is that it is indeed receiving the signal that you're supposed to get, which is being transmitted from GNU radio using HackRF and you can clearly see this this you will start seeing the signal in time domain and you would start seeing the signal in frequency domain as well here we go so your header information is remaining same and this is what the text is the text is not completely being transmitted as you can see this is just some gibberish that you're seeing but you can see that that and it is indeed uh, you're getting something. That's all. It's probably the software itself or the way SDR Angel Chirp Chat Modulator works. That's a little bit different. But you can see that your header information is continuously the same. And this is, I think this is also an incomplete header. You should get more info. And this is, should be your text. And you can see the time stamp on it. It's right now 149 and should be receiving some text let's just wait for one more uh, second and then let's see if we can receive this but the idea is yes you can use your hack rf to transmit uh, and you can use the same flow graph uh, so probably this is probably the last video i'll be making on this topic uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.